as what you miss. Thank you, thank you so much. I think the energy is is, is amazing. I think if we want to go, so we send Papa and we send Papa and Mama just so. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the invite. Hopefully, we have a great show. A pleasure to have you here, man. Tell us a bit more about Owen Kumani. For those who don't know, where were you born and bred? Ukuleganjani, Ubufunda, P. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I'm from the castle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, born and bred from Soweto. I think I always say to people, I mean, I'm not sure if I can in terms of. Uh, I can fit in almost anywhere, mm-hmm. you know. Um, put me gosh, I mean, could you listen now? And uh, it's funny, I mean, the guys like Eddie Zondi was the late Eddie Zondi was one of my neighbors. My cousin went across to support you, strong. You understand? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, was keeper, saw me play soccer before the rugby thing. I used to, could actually play with the soccer, uh, so that, that's that's where the love of sport came from. Uh, very supportive. My mother was saw the talent much earlier than, than I thought uh, I would do anything, so very supportive. I was fortunate enough, I played cricket, I played rugby, I played soccer. Couldn't really swim. <laughs> it's okay. Just, just, just couldn't float, one of those things, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, so, but, but, uh, but, you know, talking about that, I mean, the kids of today are a bit different. So, Tina, back in the day, in Kumbula, I mean, Eskela, a, a lot of the brothers always had the sick note when it came to swimming. Would find sure. an excuse somehow, and you would die in that in a swim. Like, yeah. sir, I've got I'm a stomach bug, sir. Oh, God! Exactly. Yeah. The timing was, was very important. So, yeah, and then, um, then we had the uprising of Soweto, you know, in the 80s, 86, and things like that. Uh, and the only, the only way I can put it is that Tamalam Laplaga, you understand? Um, he, he was one of those guys said, no, these kids must go, and, and, and it was perceived going to white schools at the time was better, and, and rightly so, because uh, the education system at Kasi was, was disrupted, so I ended up going, me and my brother went to St. John's, my sister went to school up the road here, and yeah, and then life went on, and uh, we struggled a bit, my brother had to leave the school, I stayed on, I was a fortunate one, and so that's where I got introduced to rugby. But my cricket. And then I mean, um, a lot of people thought I'd play soccer, guys. You know, a lot of people yeah. thought no, this guy I'm playing soccer. And then just, but even cool like it was different. Most Ali Paula, what did you call it? It was like, because that's my other name, is the guy. Because name was Ali Paula, so they never took it seriously. And you know, my fear much work. They no pay me bye bye. Yeah, yeah. So you discourage in all of these yeah. things. You know, me now cool like they were a yeah. Tell my malam bilang up my nineteen gate like Yeah. As a puma give us a lang speed, but I'm not fooling with show good bala changi live key gate food my figum full and I tip a kaya go call the lag a kaya the whole day. Can't you jump on my fence? Gosh, yeah. 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 Gosh, y